I play a lot more Rapid on Chess.com than Blitz. I'm about 1800 Rapid, but only about 1480 Blitz. But I still wanted to share a Blitz game with you guys, so let's jump into it. And we have the black pieces, we have E4, and you know what that means, it's Karo Khan time, baby! All right, knight F3, okay, we're gonna go bishop G4, pin the knight, we have D4, and E6, building a light squared triangle here of pawns, and I'll develop my knight, prepare C5. The bishop goes out, this is normal. I'm gonna go knight E7, flexible here. Okay, so the bishop comes out, if you watched uh, one of my recent videos, you see when the bishop comes out in the Karo, trying to pin the knight, I like to go queen b6 to hit the pawn on b2 that the bishop just left. And you see the queen has to slide over to defend that pawn. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, this looks like a pretty good move here. I'm going to play it. So this move hits the pawn in the center, and I don't see a good way to defend it without going back and wasting time. Because, I mean, I can always take the knight and then take here, but then I'm pinned. So let's look at that real quick. We have takes, takes, and takes. Okay, I'm pinned, so like queen e2 adds pressure to the pin, but I can just block the pin with bishop c5. But then there's this knight going here. Hmm, do I have anything in that position? Ah, uh, the bishop is hit there. Hmm, I'm trying to think now. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and first pin the knight. This could have worked. To win a pawn in the center, but I'm gonna I'm gonna lean towards development before trying to go for some tactics without fully calculating. If my opponent castles, that would be a mistake because takes takes, and then, well, actually, I'm not sure, <laughs> cause what takes takes takes. Wow, castles. Does this work? No way. I don't want to take because that opens up the rook to the B file and also solidifies the center. So what else can I do? I could take the bishop, and either the queen comes out or the rook gets active. I could just castle, or I could take here, take, go for this line again. Let's see, takes, I'm pinned. And then, yeah, I feel like there's just going to be too many ways to add pressure to the pin. Like the knight going back here, and that threatens a fork there as well. So let's just go ahead and castle. Let's just castle. I know it's lame. I know it's lame, but I do have some good pressure on the center. Okay, I don't want to go here and get my bishop trapped, and I also don't want to trade for the knight. So I'm going to drop back to e7, actually. And we're going to... Okay, so that is a move. Okay. The knight is a bit weak, so I can keep that in mind. Uh, I really want to go for this to win the pawn, but I'm scared of the pin. Oh, wait, but then I can take the bishop with check. I can take the bishop with check. Do I take it? Do I go for it? We ball. We ball. All right. Now, if takes, I'd be very happy because that just, okay, that just makes my life a whole lot easier. He has to defend the knight now, which, uh, or, or move the knight, perhaps. But, I mean, this pawn's also falling. So, if you try to defend the knight like this, then... E, okay, so you defend on e8 or e1, excuse me, but this pawn is still hanging. Do I take with the knight or the queen? Let's go ahead and take with the knight. Yeah, and we're hitting the bishop, threatening to take that with check. So if the yeah, so let's go ahead and take with check, and we should just be chilling now. Let's drop our queen back. Let's go here. And if the knight moves, I, I may take a queen trade, but I also may, I, I want to go bishop d6 and, and go for some mate here. So let's go bishop d6. And we're threatening mate on h2. Okay. I'm not scared of that move. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Play this and try to mate me with what? A, sing a singular rook? What are you going to do? Hit my queen here? I'm not scared. Only thing I'm scared of is being down on the clock. Let's go here. The pawn is hanging. And I don't think he can defend it because I'm attacking it twice and it currently has no defenders. So I'm about to be up three pawns. Let's go ahead and snag it. Yeah, I mean, there's just nothing here. Uh, let's play. Oh, no, that's a terrible move. 
Oh no, he didn't see it. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go here, and now we can get our rook to the G file. So we're fighting on the G file with our rook. What is this move? What is that? What is that? What is that? No way. Can he do that? Takes. Takes. Here. Okay, take the knight. Check. Here. Is it mate? No. I'm taking it. I'm not scared. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Give me a check? I just take. Okay, big whoop. I'm not scared. Can I go here? Or maybe just... Maybe just here? Well, I can't go here, because takes takes and the queen takes, and it's a little scary. Um, what am I up? Four points of material? I could sack. Takes, takes, and I'd be up two pawns. Um, but the rooks are still going to be kind of scary there. So, ha, ha, This is frustrating. Okay, maybe I can kick out the rook. Let's kick out the rook. Mate shouldn't be a thing. Because, I mean, I have my other rook to defend against it. Okay, now I'm a little scared. Now I am a little scared. But let's just go back. And now we're really protecting our 8th rank here. Our back rank is well protected. And we're going to try and not get mated. Um, let's go... Let's go here. I wonder if <laughs> it's a, tra a trappy move. Uh, <laughs> just trying to see if he notices that the rook is hanging. Maybe he'll go back to g7 or something. Or give me a check. Block? Hello? Oh, wait. Does this work? No, my queen defends the bishop, so that shouldn't work. I was thinking rook e8 check to deflect after all of these trades my rook from the bishop, but my queen defends the bishop, so I'm all good there. My queen! Okay. <laughs> he trades? Cool. I'll take the rook. Thank you very much. Good sir. I expect a resignation. Thank you very much. E oh, but there's a little... What is this, a border collie? Is that a border collie? Oh, it's so cute. Man, now I feel a little bad for beating... Yeah, because the dog is just really cute. I knew border collie didn't sound quite right, so I just Googled it, and it, it's a Sheltie. It's a Sheltie, but still, absolutely adorable. I know this was somewhat of a faster, simpler video than my other ones where I go in depth on the analysis and everything, but I still think it was pretty fun. It was a good game. And if you want to see another one of my games where my opponent spent an entire minute thinking about move four in the Carl Khan, then make sure you check out this video. All right, have a good day, guys.